Well, yesterday was the registration process, but in terms of the official program, um, it should have started, I think, you know, when you look at what other conferences do, it should have started around 10 o'clock, but again, as you've mentioned, the provincial executive is still seized with the matter of what's going to happen with regards to those 19 quarantine votes from those five branches in Ekurleni. You'll recall that uh, the, uh, the announcement of the results was done and there were a few votes that were set aside. The NEC then, uh, through its acting secretary general, sent a letter to Jacob Kawa, the provincial secretary, to say that the NEC believes the conference should go ahead and that the PEC then should make a decision on what should happen with these votes and someone who would be directly affected by this is Wanam Zwandi Lemasina, the chairperson who of Ekurleni who would have returned for a third time. I mean, you're here now, the PEC is sitting to discuss Ekurleni. Are you at all concerned with the fact that it's taken so long just to deal with these 19 quarantine votes, so does it benefit you because maybe it could see you not returning as chairperson? Uh, not at all. I'm not concerned because the ANC is a processed-based organization, and I believe that the leadership, if uh, uh, was to engage on this particular matter, uh, they will be able to find solution uh, on behalf of the membership. What worries me, though, is that uh, you know the vacuum that is being left <clears throat> over the past 24 or 28 days uh, is uh, severe to the African National Congress, not to me. Me as a person, I'm the child of the African National Congress. They were here at conference. I'm a branch delegate. Nothing worries me at all. You support the Adiwele faction, which is the one that's backing Lebuchang Maile. And, um, the, of course, these votes that are being discussed by the PEC would have a material impact on the voting process that would take place. And in other words, in fact, we could see an issue with credentials, especially when it comes to the Ekuruleni region. What solution, as the chairperson of Ekuruleni, do you see being the one that would be able to take your organization forward in the spirit of what you continuously speak about, that being of unity and renewal? Look, uh, in terms of the constitution, if you look at Rule 19.9.12, the PEC is responsible to ensure that uh, the affairs of the regions are being taken care of. Uh, it would be very strange for the African National Congress National Executive Committee to come to any determination outside of the PEC uh, with regard to this particular matter. But because the matter has now been placed before them, our understanding initially was that uh, because the organizing at national level is responsible for verification was to go was going to provide clarity with regard to those five branches but uh, seemingly it would appear that the national executive committee is now at debating the conference and uh, there is no one there is no one who's got authority to, to, to debate a conference that has said corrected and come to a particular conclusion it is only the pec that must sit and look in that, in, into that particular matter however I must say that as a person, as a child of the African National Congress, whatever decision they reach, the African National Congress, I will accept it. I will not go to court. I will not challenge them. I will not ask any authority, but I would always know what, what, what remains a fact in, in, in relation to this matter. I am here. I have not been accredited as the chairperson of the region. I am accredited as a, as a branch chairperson from my branch, Ward 51, Nkuruleguni branch, because I respect uh, the decisions of the African National Congress. Are you at all concerned that this, uh, what seemingly is an impasse over these branches, could collapse this conference? There is no one who can stop the ideas whose time has arrived. This is a time for Lebuhang Maile. Nothing will stop us from supporting Maile, and we are not going to announce anybody. We are not desperate. No law enforcement agencies can be unleashed against us will make us to change. We fear no one. We report to nobody. All of them, uh, those uh, comrades, they, they report to myself. I have nobody that is our handler who can, who's going to tell us what we must do. We want to answer the question, though. Are you concerned that this conference could collapse? The conference won't collapse. People must just do the right things. We will ask all the relevant questions here, and they must be answered. If they are not answered, the ANC is going to be in trouble. You also have seen, we've seen uh, high levels of securitization 
here at this conference. This is something, in fact, that uh, your chairperson, provincial chair, David Makura, described the environment at your Ekuruleni conference as a war zone. Uh, similar scenes are playing out, albeit maybe not at that heightened level. I mean, what does this say then about your, the state of your organization? You even just changed your tone a few moments ago when speaking about whether or not this conference will collapse. Look, this is a war zone. In fact, Comrade Makura was disingenuous in his articulation about our conference because there were thugs who had come there to hijack the conference. They brought foreign nationals. They donored our people there. We had to protect our people. This is a war zone. We've never seen so much law enforcement agencies unleashed within the conferences of the African Union. It was difficult to enter here. It has taken me an hour. This is a war zone. He must explain. He must explain himself what he's trying to do here with the police. We are not going to be intimidated by these law enforcement agencies. We fear no one. We are going to ensure that we vote for Maile. We, don't, we are not scared of Comrade David Makur and his police. All right, that's Lebukhang May. I beg your pardon. That's Mzondi Lemasina speaking about his fervent support of Lebukhang Maile going into this conference. He is now taking the words of David Makura, describing the environment that we're in here in Benoni as a war zone. He forms part of that Adiwele faction, which you would have known uh, was seemingly successful at that Okurleni conference. It has an impact now um, at this Okhauteng provincial conference, where literally now there has been a marathon meeting of the PEC to discuss then those quarantine votes and the status of those votes as to whether or not they should be counted uh, as amongst, amongst the overall ballot of this conference.